today, I'm going to show you how to create this mess-free, bubbling light-up cauldron. The things we need to create our bubbling cauldron is an assortment of iridescent glass ornaments. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby, and you could also use the plastic ones if you didn't want to use glass. I just prefer the glass ones. And I believe when I got these, most of these were half off. We're going to use a little bit of polyfill, which is the polyester fiber fill that you can use inside of a pillow. I'm going to be using the Gorilla Glue hot glue gun as well as the hot glue sticks. They work the best on gluing glass. I'm also going to be using some purple LED lights, some purple spray paint, and black fabric. And finally, we will need our cauldron. And I am using the metal threshold cauldron from Target. They're really hard to get your hands on, but if you ever get a chance to get one, I highly recommend them. They are a really nice cauldron, um, especially for the price. They're under 50 bucks, and this thing is huge. So for the size and the quality, it is 100% worth it. Um, if you didn't have this cauldron, you could also pick up, there's a metal cauldron with a stand that you can get at, at home. I believe that that is around the $30 mark. You could use a plastic cauldron. You could use some of the ceramic cauldrons. You can get at places like Joanne Fabrics and Michaels. So sky's the limit. See what you already have on hand. And if not, you can go out and pick up a cauldron from the party store or anything like that. But we are going to use the Threshold Metal Cauldron today. Let's get started. Would you like a chance to win one of my potion bottles? Then consider supporting me over on Patreon. All of my patrons have a chance to win a monthly potion bottle. Link is in the description down below. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take some of this stuffing and I'm actually going to spray paint it with some of my purple spray paint. And I'm going for like a misty foggy effect. I don't want it to be a solid purple. I just want it to look kind of smoky and hazy. We use a similar effect in my book, The Wizard's Craft Book, when we made our crystal ball as well as our prophecy orb. We're going to be putting some of this stuffing colored purple inside all of the ornaments just to make them feel more bubbly and so they don't just look like a clear Christmas ornament because you won't be able to see the end as easily then. So I'm going to go and make this purple smoke. And we have our really pretty smoky purple polyfill ready to go inside of our bubbles. So to prep our bubbles, I'm going to use a wood cooking skewer just to be able to help. But I'm basically just going to take small pieces of the fiber fill. And you just kind of want to get it close to the opening here. And then use your cooking skewer to help push some of it in there. And then you can kind of fluff it up as well. And then you just keep filling until you get however much you want in there. These bigger bubbles will take a little bit more than the smaller ones. But I want to make sure they have a good smoky effect. And it'll just kind of help hide that it's actually an ornament. Plus it gives us just a hint of purple. So as you can see, we get a really great like smoky effect in there. So I'm gonna to continue to do that with the rest of the ornaments. So I have all of my little bubbles filled with some smoke, which I think just adds a really cute little texture and level to them. And then I actually took two of the boxes that the ornaments came in, and I put one in the bottom and the one on top, and it fit perfectly just to kind of help give a little bit of height. So you're not filling the entire thing full of ornaments. That's not necessary. So I'm gonna take some of this black fabric and this is just some black felt, but you can use whatever kind of fabric you want. You can even use a little bit of tin foil. It'll help reflect your lights, but I didn't want you to look through and see the tin foil. So I decided to go with black. And it doesn't need to be perfect. We are just covering up the boxes so that you can't see them with our ornaments. And once our black fabric is on here, I'm actually going to take my lights. Now, I opted to go with purple. You could do a color changing light. And if you do, you could just make these kind of a gray smoky color instead of using purple like I did. But I wanted to go with purple because my book is purple and I thought it'd be kind of fun to have a matching cauldron. And these have a six hour timer. It has a flashing function, which I will not be using. 
and then it has just salad on. So basically I'm going to take my lights and we're gonna just kind of string them around and I'm gonna have the cord in the back just so then that way I can kind of hide it under the cauldron. And we're just gonna feed these all the way around here so we get a nice bed of lights to sit our balls on top to get a really good light up potion in our cauldron. And these will all end up staying where we have them once I get the ornaments in here. So I have four of these really big ones. So those are gonna kind of be part of our basis. So we're going to put some of our glue on here and then I'm just going to push it down onto my felt so then that way I can kind of build a base with the larger ones first and work my way around. And again, I am using the Gorilla Glue hot glue. I find that it works the best on glass and it really helps keep in place. And then I'm just gonna keep building. And I actually think here in the middle to kind of help add a little height, I have a little bit of extra stuffing here and the light will just continue to diffuse through it. But I'm gonna add it in just to kind of help fill the gaps a little bit, but also to help push this up some. So I have all of my ornaments on here and now I'm just going to go around with a, the last little bit of my stuffing fill that we painted purple and I'm just going to kind of tuck into some of these areas where you can see the lights poking out. And that's the beautiful thing about this stuffing is it just kind of hides any little imperfections or anywhere or maybe you see the end of the ornament that you don't want to see it. And I think once we stuff all our stuffing in the little gaps, I think we're pretty much done. And there you have it, our mess-free light up bubbling cauldron. This will be a great addition to our potion room or a fun prop for Halloween. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.